this is a doc again from Stogie Fresh and I'm back with doing another video and this time uh, I'd like to do a video that was suggested to me by one of my friends Joseph. Joseph emailed me recently he said hey doc you know for one of your next videos why don't you show people some of the things that you do with cigar bands. Now I know a lot of people collect cigar bands, but not a lot of people know exactly what they want to do with them. So typically people will throw a bunch of bands in an old cigar box and just hang, them, uh, hang on to them, but they don't really have much of a purpose of w with what else that can be done. So uh, I, and I'm sure there's a lot that can be done more than what I do, but uh, I'm going to share a few of the things, thanks to Joseph, um, that I do. One of the first things I do when I get cigar bands is that I affix them to a sheet of uh, paper. Now this is not just any paper, by the way. According to my wife, who is a scrapbooker, this is archival paper. It's acid-free paper, and the glue that is used to put these on here is like acid-free glue. I mean, this is like archival stuff. This will be here after I'm dead and gone, you know, next five or six hundred years, these are going to be in perfect condition. <laughs> uh, anyway, trust me on that. I guess it's a it's archival paper, acid-free, so you put them down here. You can see here's one that I'm just working on right now. And what I do after I get them on this archival paper is I then scan them. And after I scan them individually and get them into my computer, then I've got a lot of possibilities of what I can do with, uh, th these, um, with these bands. Of course, the first thing I do is uh, I have these bands and I will fill up this sheet and then scan them all. And, uh, and then what I can do is after the sheet is full and I find a sheet that looks really, really good, uh, I can put the whole sheet in a plastic sleeve and then I've got things like this. This is like a magnet board and it's uh, roughly the same size as this sheet. So what I can do then is after I get a nice looking sheet full of bands, I can attach it to this and then this gets hung on the wall and it'll show off, you know, some of the very nice pages of bands that I have. And of course, because I've got multiple pages, I start doing a uh, kind of like a scrapbook full of bands. And this ends up being like, you know, out on my coffee table so I can show people the different bands that I've been able to collect. And I, I collect uh, bands from non-Cuban cigars, from Cuban cigars, and I even have bands, uh, European bands that you really don't see much here in the United States, uh, box label bands and, and so forth. Uh, just obviously a very large collection of bands that I keep bound and other people can look at and enjoy. Of course, I can hang them up like I just showed you. The other thing that can be done is, is like this. You can fill up different kinds of containers like vases or mason jars like this one full of bands and then you, you can use them as, um, as little centerpieces for different things. Of course, my wife doesn't really let me use them as centerpieces in the house. You know, they're kind of relegated to my office. Ah, but what the heck? I enjoy them. But this is a, a uh, different colored uh, mason jar here that is full of bands. Um, Here's another unique kind of a container that my son found for me at a garage sale. And it's a looks like an old wine bottle that has a little spigot that you can pour the wine out of. Well, anyway, I thought it made a kind of a cool container. So I'm in the process here of filling this up with, uh, with bands. And I think it'll look very nice once I get it done. And here's, an, here's another thing. This is a bird feeder with a mason jar on the top. Again, I just think filling this up with bands and then setting it out would be kind of a nice centerpiece. The other thing that I do is after I've scanned these bands, I've got them uh, on my website. They're accessible from the Stogie Fresh website. You can see I've got literally 
maybe 2,500 different bands from all over the world that are on my website and they're accessible to you. And if you go to the stogiefresh.com website and click on the Media Center, you will see that I've got the collections that are categorized in three different ways. I've got non-Cuban, I've got Cuban, and I've got other. And uh, there's a whole broad selection. Uh, you can look at them, you can download them. Uh, if you have a cigar inventory software that you use and need a band, you know, feel free to download them. Uh, the other thing I do is uh, kind of like what I'm doing here behind me. Uh, I have uh, screensavers. And right now, I'm using screensavers of different cigars, but oftentimes I will use my screensavers with the different bands that come up on the screen. Um, so, you know, besides offering this collection online and having it in a book and using it for screensavers and filling up different kinds of decorative containers, um, you know, I am sure that there are a lot of other uses that people have found for them. So if you're interested, and once this video gets published, please feel free to publish your, in, in the comment section some of your own uses for cigar bands and teach us all some other good ways that we can use them. So that's about it for me. Uh, thanks again for checking in with me, and I will catch you again next time.